Hey guys, welcome to Rugby Programmer. In this video, we will create an image slider using JavaScript. So we have our HTML document here and um, our browser here. In our HTML document, we will have our starter code. Then in our body section, we will connect a script tag. Okay, we will create this JavaScript file later on. Then um, Let's create the JavaScript file here, call it something, whatever you want. I called it main.js, so these two files are connected. Now, the next thing we're going to do is give it the image a place. So let's have an image. Uh, the source, we will give it using JavaScript. Uh, we can remove the alt, uh, alt. Let's give it width. Okay. Uh, we will we'll use percentages and represent width and let's just give it a name name of um, maybe photo photo so this will be our container for our image um, then let's come here and first thing we'll, we'll do is we will need to create uh, a variable And this will be our initialized variable. It will be zero initially. Then we'll have the photos. So let's say let's photos B and we will put them in an empty array. Then we'll have uh, our interval. Okay, our interval, uh, whatever seconds you want. Uh, let's do it two seconds like this. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to give it uh, give the array photos each different uh, location for our images. For example, I have three images here: one dot jpeg, two and three dot jpeg. I'll use one dot jpeg here. Then copy paste. Do the same for all three: two and three. Then here you'll have this. Now the next thing you need to do is we'll have a, a function that's gonna work for our image um, slide. So let's call it uh, image slide or maybe just slider. Okay, slider. Then uh, the next thing we need to do is we, we need to select this image right here. That's why we gave it name photo. So uh, using that, we will select our document and our photo. Remember, you put this name over here. So dot photo dot source. This is where we give it the source. Now our images will have um, the array photos. Then we'll be using the i variable. Now we have set the i variable to be zero. So the, the i variable zero means photos dot zero. Initially it is photos dot zero or it is one dot jpeg. Next we need to create a conditional uh, that checks if uh, our initializer is. Um, Less than photos dot length minus one, then increment the initializer. Okay, then else I will be zero. So this is what we need, and for the um, for, for the slider to work you need to give this function slider function here inside the set timeout and how many milliseconds you want you give it here the interval so let's put interval okay now let's just load it in our window so for that let's use window dot Unload 
is equal to um, this function over here. Let's just refresh it. Now you can see for the three images sliding. So maybe next time we'll use um, some controls. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, check out all, all other videos of other JavaScript projects. See you next time. Thank you.